Hello, my name is Andrew McInnes and I'm the Senior Instrumentation Engineer here at Multisensor Systems. In this short video, I'm going to walk you through the main applications, features and benefits of the MS3500 Ammonia Monitor for wastewater. The MS3500 is the first ammonia monitor in the world to be specifically designed to work at the raw intake of a wastewater treatment plant. By measuring ammonia at the intake, the MS3500 provides an operator with important information that allows them to control and optimise their ammonia removal processes, which can account for up to 50% of the energy use in their system, providing significant savings. The MS3500 Ammonia Monitor utilises contactless technology called the electronic nose. So let's see how the system operates. A wastewater sample is taken periodically by the sampler and stored here in the chamber. Automatically, sodium hydroxide is added into this sample, which raises the pH above 12. This has the effect of converting almost all of the ammonium present in the solution into ammonia. An equilibrium is then formed between the ammonia in the water and the ammonia in the gas phase, or the headspace. Our instrument will then take a sample of the headspace and it will measure the ammonia concentration in the gas using the electronic nose before calculating the ammonia concentration in the water using the onboard electronics. Thanks to this arrangement, the sensors will never touch the wastewater and the wastewater is always handled by the specialised sampler. This means we don't need to clean the sensors and the instrument itself can run between three to six months with little maintenance. The instrument is specifically designed to work at the raw intake of a wastewater treatment plant. And because sodium hydroxide is our only reagent, the ongoing running costs of the instrument are less than £100 per year. If you'd like to learn more about the MS3500 Ammonia Monitor for wastewater, then please visit our website at the link below and get in touch. Thanks for watching.